Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the Mecca Media Morning Show, and I'm Ms. Persley. You already know. Brother Hiram, what it do? What up, Pers? How you feeling? Hey, I'm all right. Can't complain. Hey, huh? man, listen, last last time um, the show we did was super dope. You woke everybody up. You keep them awake. Hey, you got to stay woke. I mean, I mean, when they see you. They're okay. going to automatically just wake up. What are you talking about? That's what's going on. I got my brother in the building with me today. What up, brother Denny? Hey, hey. All right. Hey. Denny Wilson in the building. You know, we keep the positive people in Akron rolling with the rush, and you rolling with the rush. Iron sharp as iron, baby. You already know. Yes, yes. So now it is time for the inspiration of the day. Speaking of iron sharpening iron. You know what? Since I got Deacon Wilson in the building, okay. Okay. Pastor, I, I keep forgetting what's the difference between the deacon, the pastor, and the, and the minister. What's the difference? Well, you know what? I, 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 I can't speak on that because I'm an elder, okay? Elder is the only actual office that is mentioned in the Bible. So, as an elder, that just means that I am one of those individuals that is faithful to one sect, sect one faith, one family, one wife. Okay. Okay. Go, well, all right. Way. I guess I'm not an elder. But what's the quote of the day? <laughs> the quote of the day <laughs> today comes bit. from my brother William James, who says, "Act as if what you do makes a difference. It does." Ooh, like hit him that. with that one more time. Act as if what you do makes a difference. It does. Act as if what you do makes a difference. It does. So basically, whatever it is that you're doing, act like it's making a difference because it does. Even if what you're doing specifically, you don't feel like it's making a difference, somebody's watching you. You better say it. Yes. You know what you I'm saying? It, if you're a mama, happy Mother's Day, belated Mother's Day, even though I'm celebrated. But I'm happy I'm a mama, and I'm happy my mother's my mom. So that's every day. But if you are a parent, or even if you're a sibling, whoever, somebody's watching you. So you better act as if it's making a difference, because it definitely is. You, you better don't know say it else. don't delay it. You better know that today. Okay, I, I, I got it. And I that's all it. I have to say about that. Receive it. Okay, so now that we finished the inspiration of the day, now we're going to move on to the information of the day, which, as you all know, we get all of our news from the reporternewspaperonline.com. So make sure you check it out. So, as always, go to your smartphones, and I'm a droid for all of you. Apple users. I got a, I, I can't afford an iPhone, I got a deep phone. You got a deep phone? <laughs> I'm deep, you know what I mean? Somebody took a bite out of that apple anyways. No, no, I mean, if somebody wants to gift me, we're taking donations. <laughs> somebody took a With an out. iPhone. Is that I mean, their excuse? It's been bitten on already? Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Yeah, so somebody already took a bite. Oh, so I'm paying attention to the fact that I have a MacBook Pro. Completely, it's two totally different situations. Right. So, thanks. But, so, order the reporter, newspaperonline.com. Pull it up on your smartphones. Go right to your online tablet, whichever one it is you want to use, or your app, and then type in the reporternewspaperonline.com. And this is one of the headlines. So the headline is, if you haven't already seen all over Facebook, all over news, um, the only reason why the arrests actually happened, <clears throat> two white men, Caucasians, were arrested for the murder of a black jogger. So that is the headline. So this Excuse is me. definitely... They, they finally got arrested. Finally got arrested. They've been arrested, even though this was two months ago. Going on three. So let's just talk about it real quick. Let's hold that for real quick. Hold that. I know you're about to read it. Yes. But let's hold, let's just talk about it instead of reading it. Right. So you mean to tell me these two dudes, three. It's really three, because two people killed, murdered him, and one person recorded the murder. So. He was part of the lynch mob. He was part of the lynch mob. So you mean to tell me. Yes. That in they went and chopped him, I mean, literally shot this dude up. Yes. Went home and finished eating. For yes. two months. For two months. Yes. Can you elaborate on why was that allowed to happen? Is it in there? Or, or you um, got, or you can kind of paraphrase. So let's see here. That was crazy. It's not really saying as to, hold on, I'm just kind of scrolling through the video, it being brought to light, but I've not, I'm not really seeing anything as to why it's taken them so long to even prosecute. I think I know why. Did, did Let you, alone. You there was, there was Let's a couple, speak it up a little bit louder. There, there was a couple different reasons why. The first reason was because there was a conflict of interest um, as far as the uh, one Mc, McMichaels uh, working for the department at one point. Right. Um, so the prosecutor recused himself in that situation, and then another conflict came up and another recuse. But that does not mean or stand uh, that they could not find space or a prosecutor to come in and say, 
uh, or provide the space needed right. for the grand jury to come together. But that was the third excuse that they came up with. Right, just making up excuses. So, and I'm in part of my ignorance. But I thought that once one person recused themselves, then someone should then be appointed. Right. Isn't that how it's supposed to work? These are you. Not yeah. two months after the fact and all the outrage, and I think these Negroes might riot. We better go ahead and not take them to Burger King on the way to the grand jury. <laughs> Would be a nice way to start. Okay. Good point. Good point. So, but I'm not bitter. I'm just angry. I like right. that. But see, we really have to understand that this happens every single day in America. Every day. The only day. reason this got the attention the way that it did is because the video the leaked. Yes. The video was leaked. Was gonna be and why today. there's still They'll only two today. people charged and not three is beyond me. When we all know that they just killed a man on death row who was an accomplice to a murder and not the actual gunman himself. Come on, man. You okay. Better, you better so, speak it and don't you, keep it. <laughs> listen, I'm going to tell y'all something. So the Georgia Bureau of Investigation on Thursday arrested a father and son, charging them with the murder of a black jogger more than three months after the deadly shooting. But only two days after a cell phone video surfaced that sparked national outrage and demands for justice. So Gregory McMichael, 64-year-old murderer, and Travis McMichael, 34-year-old murderer thug, were arrested with murder and aggravated assault for the February 23rd, and those were not in there, I just added that because I just felt like it should be there. <laughs> Deadly shooting of Ahmad Arbery, 25, as he jogged through the Satilla Shores neighborhood of Brunswick, Georgia, according to the GBI. The McMichaels uh, were booked into the Glen County Jail, and Arbery, who would have celebrated his 26th birthday Friday, was out for a run when they shot him down mercilessly and cold blood. So why it took three months before they're behind bars and let's just see how they're actually, if they're actually convicted. Cause we all know just because they're arrested. Right. It right. don't mean squat. Um, anywho, so that's all I'm gonna have to say about that. Um, otherwise we're gonna be in a rabbit hole. Okay, so Brother Hiram, it is time to hit them with the black thought of the day. Well, listen up, I'm glad um, that you said that. Listen, I just wanted to be straight up frank and blunt the name of this show is the Mecca Media Morning Show, right? I was going to call it the Akron Wake Up Show. Right. Hence the term, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake it up, baby. Right? What we are doing, what we stay doing is waking up the consciousness of Blackburn, Ohio. Yes. Every day we trying to wake you up out of your bed and at the same time put some of that knowledge in your head. Yes. Right? So I'm here to tell you guys, check out my man, Dr. Umar Johnson. Check out Brother Polite. Seriously. Anybody like that that you see on the timeline, or you can go to our Akron Hip Hop. David Banner has really got some conscious like that. thought for you. Actually, well, speaking you of that, go to our Akron Hip Hop.com, and on that, um, it's a conscious community page. Yes, a whole month worth of study videos Definitely. is on there. That's my black thought of the day. That beautiful. That's the, if, if you don't put that in your pipe and smoke it instead of something else, you better put it in okay. your pipe. Okay. So now that we have talked about the black thought of the day, now it is time to move on to the black business of the day. And Brother Hiram is definitely going to hit us with the black business of the day. Listen, man, I got to give it to you real, man, since he's here. I got to tell you, he got books coming out. He need to speak up a little closer on this one. Books? Baby, tell him about your books, man. <laughs> Reading. So um, this time last year, I launched my first book called F Heroin Keys to Winning on the Addiction Battlefield. And that has since took off nationwide. It's bestseller. Um, I've become award-winning author behind that book. And on May 21st, um, right here on the Mecca Media Ohio, or uh, Reporter Newspaper Online, we are going to launch my second book, um, which I can't announce just yet. But the next book is out. And since this quarantine, you know, because I'm an author, I'm a writer, I'm an entrepreneur. What I've been able to do is write four more books. Oh, Whoa. Been, including a curriculum. A what have you done with your time? Curriculum. <laughs> so uh, I'm super excited. And I really appreciate you know the shout out right now. It was un unexpected. Right when you hear, I got to make it happen. Right. <laughs> Most definitely. So you said May 21st. But even if you can't announce exactly what the title of the book is, what y'all can do is make sure you bookmark the reporternewspaperonline.com and akronhiphop.com. So you don't miss out on any of the news and you get alerted. Alrighty. So I want to thank you very much for announcing the books that are coming up because it gives us something to read. If you've done nothing else, because I haven't written any books 
I'll definitely read some <laughs> during the rest it. of my time off. And I'm always looking for some good inspiration. So thank you for waking up with the Mecca Media Morning Show. I'm always Ms. Pursley. You can find me on all social media outlets as mz.pursley. You already know. Um, make sure you follow BAM330. That's where I do my music. People 330 WSOTF. There's a new song coming out, Quality Time. So make sure there's a video coming out for that. So definitely look out for that. And then Abel's uh, annual balloon release will be coming out. And we're always trying to spread information and knowledge about crime pay disease. So shouts out to uh, Charles Zeta Byers, Kitten Byers is what we know, us, uh, know her as. So thank you all for tuning in. And as always, stay woke.